guys, so today I'm doing an Iron Man body paint, and this video is going to be a giant comic book, so I hope you guys like it. Spent four days on it. Don't want to talk about it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab some yellow body paint and start painting on the actual yellow part of the mask. You might want to grab a reference picture for this one because I'm going a little old school. Anybody surprised by that anymore? <laughs> and then you're going to go ahead and fill in everything. Um, I skipped the eyes for now because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but I wound up doing the eyes in yellow anyway. And then once you do that, you can start outlining the actual face mask. You can do this before you start painting the rest of your face red, or you can do it after. That is completely up to you. Then I started adding some more detail work. I did uh, orange on one side of my face and then on the other side that was going to be a little bit lighter. I mixed a little bit of orange and yellow body paint, it, body paint and did that just to give it a little bit um, more dimension, make it a little more interesting to look at. And then on the gap that I left on the right side of my face, I guess that's the right, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I applied some white body paint there to give it the more extreme part of the highlight. And then once you do that, you can paint the rest of your mask red because it will be red. Don't forget your ears also. Mildly important. It will look kind of weird if you have like red Iron Man and then human ears. And I went back in with that black and started outlining everything that needed to be outlined. Any um, shadow marks that are going to be on there. Um, the different sections of the mask. Remember, this is a comic book look. Not exactly going for realism here. Just want it to look as much like a comic as you can. So just keep in mind also, anything that you want to have shadowed, you're going to outline that and fill it in in black. Then I went ahead and, like I said, filled in my eyes with yellow because I decided that I was just going to do it that way and make my life easier. Only, you know, hindsight. It's a bitch. Then I went back in with the black and I started drawing in the Iron Man eyes. They are basically like rectangular slants. And then I went in with a little bit of white um, body paint afterwards for the pupils. Don't worry about that too much. I also added a little bit of expression lines because he does have some in the picture that I was looking at, which I'll have linked on my blog, which is noblemakeup.com. And then I took some orange body paint and applied that on my nose area. Granted, he doesn't really have a nose when he has the, the suit on, but it gives it a little more definition and it kind of hides your nose a little bit, as weird as that sounds. I know, it just sounds really weird, but it works. Then I took some more of the black body paint and I started drawing little sketch lines on the orange part that I painted on my nose to give it a little bit of shadow. And that also surprisingly helps hide the fact that you have a nose. And you know, comic book filters, that helps too. <laughs> then for my mouth, I kind of just drew in a rectangle around my top lip and then on my uh, bottom lip as well. And I shaded in any part that was not going to be showing and colored in his teeth white. He did have a little bit of teeth showing in the picture that I was looking at. Now you can wipe away the yellow that is already there, or you can do what I did and just paint over it and hope for the best. Then I started working on my body for this. I would seriously just look at a picture because I was out of frame most of this. Gotta get back on it. I'm so sorry. But um, my biggest tip is to make things look a little bit more three-dimensional even though this is a very 2D looking character. Shadows and highlights are going to be your best friends with this. I did forget to highlight and I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend. Um, I realized that after I did this, 
but um, like the section on my shoulder right where I have that black mark right there that could have been highlighted a little bit to give it a little more dimension on the neck piece when I start doing the shadowing part I could also apply a little bit of highlight there just little things like that that really help bring it together that I totally overlooked which I don't know I don't know why I did that but if you guys are gonna recreate this look definitely keep that in mind And then for the neck part, I didn't actually have a photo to reference, so I kind of just took my creative license and ran with it. But I basically just drew a few lines down the neck, um, just to kind of make it look like, you know, it was attached and there were shadows coming out of it. Creative license. I have it. I used it. And then for the arms, I started off by painting them yellow. And then I went in with a little bit of a yellow-orange mix and did a little bit of highlighting. Well, not really highlighting, but adding a little bit of dimension on the arms. Um, I also used a little bit of orange, like straight-up orange, and a little bit of white as well, just to give a little bit of a highlight. Little pops of color here and there. And tip for anybody who's going to use body paint. Make sure that your sponge isn't soaking wet when you put it on your arm. Hard lessons you learn when you do things. And then just like everything else, you're going to outline anything that needs to be outlined. Any muscles, any like super detailed things, any shadows. You're going to want to do that in black. That will add to the comic appearance. And just make you look totally cool. Who doesn't want to look cool as Iron Man? And then once you do all of that, you are done my friend, you are now Iron Man. I'm not even going to lie, the first thing I would do, fly around the city. Just saying. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and let me know if you like this look for comic book looks, and who you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!